probably the biggest game of the year for us. The Montana Weaver game is epic. It's the two defending conference champions from last year. It's the 13th ranked team in the nation against the second ranked team in the nation. It's a game that may determine the Big Sky Conference Championship, and it's a game that will determine who gets into the playoffs. Justin Tafoya talked with the pumped up team before they boarded the bus to Missoula. Montana, who is a perennial powerhouse in the Big Sky, comes in tough. The Grizzlies currently hold the number one scoring offense and the number two total defense in the league. The Wildcats will need a win for their season to survive and are not taking this game lightly. This is it, you know, do or die. If we lose this game, you know. This is what it's all about, man. You get, these, these are good opportunities. You know, you play yourself into opportunities, and then when you get them, you got to do something about it. When the Grizzlies win, they win big, and they win a lot. They haven't lost a game this season. Weber comes in with one of the best offenses in the big sky and the number one quarterback in the nation. Montana's offense is considered one of the toughest around, led by their rushing attack. They they let you know what they're going to do. They're not they're not they don't keep it a big secret. That, you know they're one of the teams that they're going to line up and they're going to say they're going to go. Hey, we're going to pound down. We're going to pound the ball down your throat and we're going to show you. I don't think you're going to permanently just disable their run game because they they, they do a good job with it and they're very efficient in what they do. But you gotta you gotta keep it you know keep it in check. Montana is a team the Wildcats know well. The last time the Cats played in Washington Grizzly Stadium, the Grizzlies ended Weaver's chance at a national championship. Our loss last year is still on our mind, um, but we're focused on this year and we'll focus on their team that they have now. And um, it's going to be a, a, a good game and, you know, the crowd's always crazy and very loud and so we're going to expect that and it's going it's to be a lot of fun. Focus will be key in a game where winner takes all. Justin Tafoya, Weber State News. Saturday's game can be seen live on KJAZZ TV at 1 p.m. For highlights after Saturday's game, check out our Weber State News YouTube channel. Well, he's interim no more. Weber State has officially named Jerry Bovey as the school's athletic director. He's been serving as the interim AD for the past seven weeks following the reassignment of former director Jerry Grayville. Bovey hopes to continue the success of the Wildcat athletic program by building on the solid foundation laid by Grayville. Bovey is an Ogden native who brings 17 years worth of athletic administration experience to the job and couldn't be more excited to be working with the student athletes and coaches and their staffs. We wish Jerry the best of luck in bringing many more conference championships to the Wildcat programs. The Cougars came to play with the Wildcats on Weaver's soccer field. The BYU Cougars, playing in the dark uniforms, had the Lady Wildcats running in the first half. BYU scored their first goal just over a minute into the game and a second goal followed about five minutes later. In her final home match, goalkeeper Rebecca Ritchie recorded nine saves, but in the end, the scoreboard says it all. The nationally ranked Cougars scored a 3-1 to one victory over Weber. The Lady Wildcats aren't the worst team in the league, though. That belongs to Northern Colorado. This loss puts the Lady Cats second from last in the big sky. Weber wraps up their regular season on the road against Idaho State. With two conference championships in the past three uh, years, fans have come to expect a lot from the Weber State basketball program. Last night, they got a sneak peek at this year's Wildcats. Kyle Cocaine went to the purple and white game to see if this year's team can live up to the hype. The lights are on at the D Event Center. This can mean only one thing. The basketball season is upon us. Thursday night, the men's and women's basketball teams took the court for the first time in their 2009-2010 seasons. The opponents, themselves. The Wildcats tipped off in their annual purple and white game. The intra-squad scrimmage gave the fans their first look at the new team. Coming off nearly a perfect Big Sky season with a 15-1 record, this year's men's team had a bit different look on the court. This new team is going to have some big shoes to fill after losing last year's league MVP player Kellen McCoy and the high-flying fan favorite Davian Davis. It's really hard to, to replace Kellen and D. Will, but um, I'm really, really excited with our new guys. We have something going really, really good. And... Luckily, the Cats returned freshman of the year, Damian Lillard. Damien was a big part of last year's team, proving he was a true scorer, averaging over 14 points per game. Possible, I mean, we got a lot of new players and a lot of people that contribute to everything we do, so I mean, it might not be necessary and it might, but I mean, I think I can do it again. Damien, along with the new recruits, proved Thursday night that they are ready for another winning season. The Cats are also returning Mr. Automatic, the man with the three ball, Nick Hansen. 
The junior college transfer student led the Cats in three-pointers last year, and after seeing him Thursday, looks like he'll be a force to be reckoned with on the perimeter this year. The Cats hope that this game will get them tuned up for another run at the Big Sky Conference Championship and a possible NCAA tournament run. Courtside from the D Event Center, Kyle Cocaine, Weber State Sports. In our next segment, we'll have head coach Randy Ray with us to talk about the prospects of this year's team. Well, that'll be fun to hear from the coach and you know see what he's thinking about the team. They look pretty good there. They do, and it's always good to hear his insights. And uh, we've got an extended interview with the football players on our Weber State YouTube channel that people should check out if they want to hear some more about the 